For more on what the higher cost of money means, we're turning now to the CEO of Mortgages of Canada. Samantha Brooks joins us in studio. Good to have you with us. Thank you for having me. I can imagine you, you get this question, I'm sure, all the time at the cocktail parties. Do I lock in now or do I ride the variable rate higher? Right. I mean, I'm a firm believer of the variable rate. However, most people are not. So people like to know what their mortgage payment is going to be month to month. And so people like to lock into the fixed rate. With that being said, if you are in a variable and you're feeling uncomfortable at this time, then I would definitely look at locking into a fixed rate if mm -hmm. it makes more sense for you. I can imagine there's that sleep well at night issue, as you, as you suggest there. So how long ought one to ride a rising interest rate environment versus the locking in? What's the spread? How many years do I get before I, I'll, I would have been at that point of locking in back then anyway? Well, it just depends on when you actually got your mortgage in the first place. So it, it, right now, the rates are, have moved up. They're in the 3.39% range. And so people may not want to lock into that fixed rate right now because their mortgage payment will go up quite significantly with that rate compared to what they're at right now on the variable. Mm -hmm. So it just depends on what you're comfortable with. So I suppose what you're telling me as well is that it also depends on the pace at which the Bank of Canada raises the cost of borrowing and then the central, the, the, the banks themselves follow suit with their prime rates. That's correct. So what the bank actually does, they'll actually offer a discount on that prime rate. And so right now the average is about anywhere from 5 to 7% on a discounted on, off the prime. Mm -hmm. So that gives them, that gives the homeowner just room to, to, to increase the payments and not really be in any type of a compromising position. At what point do you anticipate normalized interest rates, if we even know what normal is anymore? Well, I mean, if we had a glass ball, it would be great, but we don't really know. Um, I do foresee that the Bank of Canada may actually increase rates again later on this year, mm -hmm. and we'll just have to be ready for it. We have to adjust to those increases. Over at Dominion Lending Centers, Sherry Cooper told me to expect three interest rate increases in 2018. Does that jibe with what you guys are seeing? Um, I do believe that's a possibility. Mm -hmm. I do believe it's a possibility. We just have to adjust to what the, the, you know, what the government is doing right now. They're just really trying to take control of the housing market. What do you make of RBC's uh, expectation that even just this 25 additional basis points t uh, yesterday will uh, push some of the uh, potential mortgagees at the margins out of the market? Well, it depends because you have to remember there's a stress test rate which everyone has to get approved on anyways. So that stress test rate just monitors as how much the the customer is allowed to purchase. Mm -hmm. um, so if they're on a variable rate, it just, again, it depends on what they're comfortable with in paying their mortgage. That stress test, I can imagine if the Bank of Canada's overnight lending rate went up 25 basis points, that stress test goes up 25 basis points too? The stress test, no. The no. stress test is actually linked to the bond yields. Ah, okay. So it's 4.5% or something like, like that? Yeah. So right now it's at 4.84%. So the idea, I guess, is that we just want to make sure that at some point down the road, when a mortgage is at that level, that we can continue to make the payments. That's correct. That's correct. How concerned are you about Canadians not able to meet that stress test? Um, it's concerning, especially because you have individuals who already own their home and they're maxed out with their credit card debts, they're paying their mortgage, things are already tight in the home. So I just advise my clients, you know what, go over your budget, maybe we can work on this together, make sure that the number still makes sense for you. If it does not and you're getting concerned with how tight things are getting on a monthly basis, then perhaps we need to look at refinancing your mortgage and extending your amortization. What demographic are you having that conversation with the most? Everyone. <laughs> across the right, board? Uh, across the board right now. Okay, because it's been suggested to me that older Canadians, the empty nesters, uh, who are looking maybe to put a fresh coat of paint or maybe redo a bathroom, those are the ones that are racking up that consumer grade debt uh, and how are finding them are using their homes as piggy banks. Well, I find that with younger individuals too as well. Mm. Um, we have a lot of young people coming to us that you know they're not able to manage the spending. They want things right now, so they're just putting everything on their credit card and then it just gets out of control and they need to refinance. To your point about the rising interest rate environment on a variable rate mortgage payment, from what I understand, because this is the way it is for, for mine as I ride the rate higher, is that my monthly payment isn't changing, just the amount of principal I'm paying off is not increasing as rates rise. That's, is that a common mortgage or is that something you specifically talk to your broker about? So basically when the interest rates go up, the prime rate goes up, that means your payments are going to be going up. With the, with, the, with the increase. So Bank of Canada raises their rates mm -hmm. and your payment will go up to 25 basis points too as well. 
Not my mortgage. Yeah. My mortgage is staying the same. It's just I'm not paying off as much of my house as the rates rise. Are you on a variable or a fixed? Variable. Oh, well, that's interesting. I've never heard of that oh, product. Interesting stuff. Yeah. Samantha, yeah. thank you so much for your insight. Oh, thank you for having me. Uh, Samantha Brooks is the CEO of Mortgages of Canada.